Hello, fellow winners. Here we are at day 20 and we've reached the halfway mark. Many of us are still finding our way. Well, I think that's part of this process, finding our way, or at least that's what God shared with me as a huge part of my process. He has me finding my way to him and checking out every area of my life as I seek to be made whole. I know that he has many of you doing the same as your Facebook posts and tweets and emails continue to tell your stories. Today I was given a word to share on finances, money. Again, we're fasting for healing in all areas of our lives, and recently I've been struck with how many of us, myself included, need to be delivered from fears related to our finances. I think this hit me so strongly this week, not because of my personal financial struggles, but because I've had three individuals consider suicide as a viable option to getting out of their debt-filled lives, one to the point that he had written a letter to his family in preparation of acting on his plan. For some of us, that might seem a bit extreme, where there are likely others of us who are saying, we can absolutely relate. Well, y'all all know by now for me, who we are and how we are goes back to how we think and what we believe. And our behaviors betray the truth of our beliefs, not what we say, but how we be. Although what we say is of importance as well. If I'm walking around saying I'm broke all the time, according to God's word, I'm enacting a spiritual principle related to speaking life, or in this case, speaking death into my circumstances. And if that's what I'm saying, and you see me operating in a state of depression and fear through my behaviors, then that's what I am being. And you can correctly assert that that is indeed what I am believing. I am broke. So when all that keeps showing up at my door is broke, I shouldn't have to look very far to find out who invited his busted and disgusted self over to my house. So some of you have been reading and watching some resources that are geared to help you with your thinking, like Switch On Your Brain by Dr. Caroline Lee. Others may still be looking for resources that speak to you more clearly or directly to your situation. So I have some additional resources to encourage you to think about how you're thinking about money, especially if you feel like your finances are being attacked by Satan and all of his minions, which is how I've felt at times over the last few years. I came across this great article on psychcentral.com by Joyce Martyr, who's a licensed clinical professional counselor, about how our thoughts affect our money. The title of the article is Change Your Thinking to Have More Money. A couple of the interesting things she points out in this article is that although she counsels others on things like self-esteem, assertiveness, and boundaries, she noticed that when people started doing better with those concepts, their income started increasing. She related this to being a matter of self-worth that literally translates into your ability to attract or repel money. She reminds us that money is a resource. And while she goes on to share more about this, as I read, I was prompted by the Holy Spirit to share with you all the reminder that God is the source. So while many of us look to others when we fall on financially challenging times, and there's nothing necessarily wrong with that, some of us forget to look to him from which all blessings flow to ask from the very beginning what he would have us to do. We become dependent on our jobs or families or our church to get us through when God may be shifting things around to identify another resource for you. Or he may be trying to get your attention to deal with some things in your life that may seem completely unrelated to you as it pertains to your money. But we are holistic beings and everything about our lives is interrelated. For example, how I'm treating my spouse can translate directly into whether or not I get that promotion I've been praying and asking God about. What this author really reminded me of is that when our self-worth is in question, our financial stability is in jeopardy. The author also touches on the principle of abundance as she believes in the abundance theory. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It can change how you see your situation and open new doors of possibility to you and your family. Martha Beck has a great article from Oprah.com entitled, Trust That You'll Find Exactly What You Need. It provides great insights on this theory looking through the lens of a just-in-time thinking versus a just-in-case thought process. And she shows us a better way for us to live our lives walking in the abundance of God. 
Her article really gets at the heart of the matter, which is ultimately how we think. And as a Christian, for me, it becomes more about who we trust and what we believe. You notice the repeating theme yet? Thoughts, beliefs, trust, faith. And finally, there is another author who's been for providing me with much needed information, revelation, and inspiration as I'm making my way through this consecration season. Jennifer LeClaire has a prophetic ministry that appears incredibly timely for this season we're all in. I want you to check out a five-part YouTube video series she has on how to hear God's voice. I'm certain she'll provide you with some helpful insights that will bless you and better prepare you for the challenges ahead. So here is your challenge for the week. Check out the resources I've mentioned here and let me know what you think. You can apply what you learn to your finances or any area of your life where you're seeking freedom. I'll leave you with these scriptures to meditate on as it pertains to meeting your financial needs. Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that you will not have room enough for it. Malachi 3.10 And my God will meet all all your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4.19 Ladies, have another amazing week absorbing all of the lessons God has for you in this season. And remember, through it all, we win.